Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Tony Solo's Mix Up Video of the Week. And today I will be talking to you guys about how to focus or staying focused when it comes to productivity or when it comes to any area of life because this thing of being focused can help you in whatever that you're doing. And me and learning how to come to terms with my own focus and how I came up with it is the reason why I'm making this video because I'm an incredibly focused person. And the things that I've learned, learned, learned along my way have allowed me to be a person that's completely pointed in where they're going to go and being able to minimize the things around me that's going to stop me from getting there. This all came about with my little brother. My little brother, me and him was having a conversation yesterday and he said to me, bro, um, if you're always so focused, don't it? get so lonely or don't it feel like you just bored and I was like no bro I'm not bored when I'm extra focused like I am in my life because I've surrounded myself with things that are incredibly important to me so those are my focuses that I have in my life anything else in between I minimize those things or cut them out completely so and then he was asking me he said Bro, I just, I was doing a workout today and I just, I don't know how to stay focused. And I said, bro, the reason why you cannot stay focused is because you have not cut out distractions. You have a lot of distractions. You're working out or you're doing something and then you get distracted by this. Cause he said he felt like he was distracted by everything. I said, that's because to the amount of distractions that you have will be to the amount of focus that you have. When you can cut down the distractions, your focus will sharpen. Many people, they have a very, very loose focus because they're trying to spread it out in so many different things that literally don't matter to them in the moment. So for you to be able to, as the number one thing that I will say in this video, for you to be able to have a great focus, for you to be able to be able to be with something and stay with it the whole way, you need to minimize or cut out distractions completely. By the way, if you guys didn't notice, I have a white background, don't I? I know, it's, 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 it's the studio that I'm recording in. I've made the studio and I had to buy all the shit because I'm coming out with a product next uh, summer. So be looking forward to that. It'll be infill videos of me taking women home, the la di da di da -di, everything. So back to what I'm saying now. You guys need to understand that the moment that you start to cut out distraction, your productivity will go up like this. It will completely go through the roof because there's nothing stopping you with what you have to do. A lot of times you have something stopping you, whether it be you see, a, you see something on your phone and then you start doing like this and then it completely takes you away from, oh no, I'm supposed to be writing this. Or let's say a person comes and they start, they start talking to you and you allow yourself to be in a conversation with them longer than it needs to be and it takes you like 30 minutes away from what you're doing. And if you add up all these things throughout the day, you literally probably wasted about four to five hours on nothing really on things that you could have cut out, but you didn't cut it out. So that is the reason why your productivity is lower. Me, I had to learn inconsistency, inconsistency and then consistency. That was my journey. My journey was I would be focused on something and then I would go to something else. I had a very fickle way of doing things. I would change my mind and things and change my mind and change my mind. I'm like, oh my God, why the fuck do I keep changing my mind? And that itself, that fickle pattern itself was a distraction towards me going for what I want. So I had to cut that fickle pattern out. Another thing that I used to do is that um, I used to be doing something and then I'll start texting this girl and I was doing something then I started texting this girl and I'm like, okay, I'm chewing up time and I literally have been texting girls for an hour. What am I doing? I had to start minimizing the things that's cutting away from what's important to me. Now, of course, writing the girls were important. That was completely important. It is. It's completely important. But the thing is, is that when I have something focused that I need to do in the moment, writing a girl is not priority. That is always second. So you guys need to start to, in the moments where you feel yourself going to go do that thing that's going to take you away from what you focus on, you need to allow yourself to be aware in that moment. So what I would say for you to do is to 
take things away from you while you're in front of whatever you're doing. It was, let's say a computer, because that's what I was thinking of. Take yourself, take anything away from the computer that could literally take your attention away from what you're doing. If your phone is there, your phone is an attention grabber. Take it away from the computer. Completely put it in the other room. Because So that means that you have enough time to be able to catch yourself. You have enough time to be able to be aware if you get up and start walking to the phone. You have enough time to get there. So you need to start setting yourself up in ways so you can start to be more focused. Now later on in the video, I'll give you guys some exercises that will be able to help you. But that's just one way. Focus in itself is so important when it comes to going towards what you want because when you have a chief aim as napoleon hill says it when you have a chief aim it's important that i believe that that chief aim rings supreme over everything as it rings supreme over everything allow everything else to branch from that and that's what i've done for, that's what i've done for my life i've allowed myself to have an overarching desire which is i want to help men in whatever way that i can to be all that they can be. That's in their heart, that's in their mind, that's in their soul. And open up and be the men that they want to be to this world with and without women. The fact that I want that, the fact that I'm so grounded in that and that is my overarching desire and it pushes me and it drives me to do everything that I do, that means that I had to, from that place of this overarching desire, branch off everything from that. What is the energy that I'm going to need to do this? Okay. And this is me talking about minimizing distractions if you're, if, you're, if you're lost. Okay, I need to have a good health and fitness. So that means that I need to cut out things that's going to, which is a distraction. I need to cut out the things that's not going to allow me to have the energy to be able to do this. So I need to do everything I can to have more energy to be able to, um, so to speak, fuel more of my intention, my overarching intention. Then, of course, I need to be able to have the things that are important to me, like, okay, what as far as like women? Okay, right now I'm strongly with one woman, so that means that I have a woman. That means that I, I have cut out time for her. That's important for me. Another thing that I branch off that is time with uh, friends and family. Now, of course, I sacrifice on all these things for this overarching thing, because this is the highest. I do sacrifice on certain things in here. Like I, sometimes I sacrifice time with my woman. Sometimes I sacrifice time with my friends and family. And I'm okay with that because at this point in my life, what means the most to me is the overarching thing, which that'll drive me for a long time. And then you have the other part, which is like my play or like the things I like to do for leisure. So as I'm, as I'm, even that's a focus thing. When I'm looking at videos, literally when I'm on YouTube or I'm fucking uh, watching a movie, that is a focused time. It really is where I just cut out everything. And all these times have focused times. The overarching thing is the biggest thing that's going to drive me, but I've only allowed these things to be in my, in my view. And the fact that all these things are in my view, I'm incredibly focused because anything in between, I will not get distracted by. Conversation that's meaningless, I will cut it out to the, to the bare minimum. Uh, I don't even go on Facebook. And, oh, there's times I do go on there because I'm like, I don't know what's happening in the world because I'm completely lost because I don't watch the news or anything. But I'd never go on Facebook. I only go on Snapchat when I'm talking to my woman. Um, I do go on my, my, my Facebook that is my work Facebook because I know I have to put out videos there. And it's a very focused time when I do that. But anything in between, I literally, I don't waste time because I don't have time to waste. You guys are under, you're not coming at this with the attitude of a sense of urgency. You're coming at this with the attitude that I have all the time in the world so I can fuck around. You do not have all the time in the world. You really don't. Let's think about this. Whatever you want to do in life, you're going to move towards that. And as you're moving towards that, things are always shifting and changing. You will get left behind if you believe you have all the time in the world because when you're up to pace, then you know what's the next thing to focus on that's going to be able to aid the thing that you need to do based on the current time that things are moving at. Based on how fast things are moving, I know how to keep up at pace because I'm so focused on where I'm going that I'm keeping up. A lot of guys, they fall behind because they fall into these times where they're just not doing anything. You need to make sure that if you want focus, that you need to cut out distractions. Cut out the things that you do not need in your life and immediately you will start to notice that you become much happier. And like I said in my video, committing to growth, you need to understand that where you focus determines your happiness.
So if you focus on the thing that means the most to you, which like I have, and everything branches from that, everything I do makes me happy. Every action I take in the day that's focused makes me happy. Every unfocused action in the day makes me very unhappy. It does. When I'm, if I find myself maybe at some time looking at a video and then I'm like, all right, I'm going to go do my work, but then I get caught by another video because I'm not perfect and I get caught by another video. And then I, as I'm going through that, I actually get frustrated that I'm doing this because it doesn't make me feel good. What makes me feel good are tending to those things that make me happy, focusing on those things that give me joy. The things that I've said to myself, these are the things that are important to me. The more that I focus on these things, the more joy that I feel. And that's why I'm always happy and I'm always filled with life because I'm always focused on the things that give me joy. And that overarching desire, that's my biggest thing. That drives me. I wake up in the morning and I speak to myself about my desire. I say to myself, I cry about my desire. This is something that's pushing me and it's something that gives me the focus every single day and I have the power to be able to move with it. That's a good thing because once you strengthen your focus, the overarching desire, once you strengthen that thing, which means that once you, you dig into it and you dig into it and you dig into it with your heart, with your full power about this is the thing that I want, you will start to generate energy inside yourself through everything that you do. If that's the base thing and that's driving everything, literally, you will have generated energy for everything you do. When I'm working out, I have no lack of motivation working out, none at all. The reason why I have no lack of motivation working out is because that focused desire that I have, that overarching focused desire, it, now, I'm not going to lie. For me, eating has been the hardest thing for me to fucking uh, be able to tackle. You know, because growing up, I had the baddest habits. But, and all this shit tastes so good. But I'm slowly letting things go. And that's, that's getting better. I'm not, definitely, that's my worst area. But that's, getting, that's progressively getting better and better. And everything else, man, whether it be my woman. When I'm with a woman, I'm fully with her. You know, I know what it means to be my woman. I know when I'm, when I'm, uh, doing this activity or that activity that I focus, I'm fully with that activity because I've cut out distraction and I've put my focus on things. So devote yourself. Devote yourself 100% to what you're doing. Put your focus on whatever you're doing and anything that tries to come in to try to stop that, cut it out and minimize it. So what I want you guys to do is this exercise. For the next seven days, I want you to record. If you're really wanted to focus, you really wanted to uh, learn about focus, I really want you to, for the next seven days, record the times when you actually feel like you didn't do anything productive. Record those times. I want you to, I want you to after the moment you're like, man, I didn't do anything productive today. I was just so distracted. Record the distractions that happen. Because a lot of times, those are the same distractions that will happen the next day and the next day and the next day. Because we just have a pattern of doing certain things over and over. So if it's watching YouTube videos, record that. If it's looking at memes, record that. If it's uh, watching uh, too much TV, record that. If it's watching too many pickup videos, record that. Whatever it may be, man, I want you to start recording it. Start to chart, okay, where, where am I getting thrown off track? Okay, I'm getting thrown off track when I should be doing this, but in this moment, I'm watching this, this, this videos. And then I should be doing this thing, but in this moment, I decided to go have a conversation and do this. You know, I know right now that I should be going for a jog. I know that that's what I've told myself to do, but you know what? I'm just gonna lay here for a little bit and I'm just gonna just rest for a little while longer and I fell back to sleep. So that was a distraction. Anything that stops you from doing the thing that you want to do is a distraction. That's what it is. So if you minimize these, I'm not saying cut them out and be rigid. If you minimize these or just cut them out because you completely don't need it and you know it's a time waster, do it. I want you to do it. Cut it the fuck out because it is stopping you from being the most productive you can be. It is stopping you from that. It completely stopping you from that. And if you really want to get deep into this and you really want to learn how to sharpen your focus, because I know the number one way for me that I sharpen my focus is meditation. This is the way that I sharpen my, my focus uh, even more than distractions because the meditation itself gives you the awareness that you need to stop the distractions. Really. 
So I would say if you really, really want to handle uh, focusing, which I know a lot of people do, a lot of people just can't focus, but I actually don't know a lot of focused people, like a for real focus people. I don't know a lot of them. I don't. So if you really want to learn how to focus, daily meditation. I do meditation every single fucking day. I do it every day. And then when I'm walking throughout the day, I'm focusing on my breath and I'm lowering my body. I'm in my feet. This is what I'm doing all the time. So I'm meditating all the time. So my basically my focus is sharpening all the time because I'm not worried about my thoughts. I don't trust my thoughts. I trust my body. So I'm sitting in my body most of the day and don't get me wrong. Yeah. Sometime in my head, I'm not a fucking Buddha, but I, but I am more in my body than I am in my head because I trust being in here, being inside of here and just living from here and moving here and, and doing this and, and smiling like this. I love that more than, um, yeah. Because when I'm up there, I don't know what's going on out here. And when I'm walking around, I'm just present to life. My focus sharpens because now I'm giving my attention. I'm devoting my attention 100% to the moment. What's happening? And anytime you devote your attention 100% to the moment, your focus will be sharpening. When you are doing work, devote yourself 100% to what you're doing. When you are walking on the street, devote your, your attention 100% to being in your body and walking and, and observing. When you're in front of someone, devote your attention 100% to the person that's in front of you. Your focus can be always be sharpening based on how much you allow distraction to come in. And that's not only distraction of things around you, but that's also distraction of thought. Your thoughts are distractions as well. The moment that you can allow yourself to be more here now than in your thoughts, your, your focus will sharpen as well. I notice that when I'm in my body and I'm just here now with you, like I'm just completely clear on the inside, I'm completely focused. I have no focus issue right now. But the moment that I start thinking about something, I'm in front of you and I'm kind of thinking about this, I'm kind of thinking about, and I see a, maybe there's a person standing there or something and my attention is diverted like this and I can feel that, I consciously bring it back here. I do because sometimes when a person is standing there looking dead at me in the eye, sometimes my attention do go like, it's, it's divided like this. So what I do is I consciously bring it back. And I'm always doing that where I'm in my head and I consciously bring my attention back down. I consciously bring it back down. I'm constantly doing that process over and over and over and over. Even when I'm in front of people, I'm constantly just being there, being soft, open and um, low in my awareness. And I'm just allowing myself to just be there with them and just take them fully in. And as I'm taking them fully in, I don't need to be anywhere but here now. And when you're like this in front of people, sometimes they'll feel like, holy fuck, is that mommy? Or, you know, is you okay? Are you okay? Or, you know, a girl will be like, I had a girl say to me, and I, I, told, I know we don't talk about girls in this, but I had a girl say to me because I was completely there with her. And she was like, no, whatever you think. She, she started thinking like I wanted sex from her. So she's like, it's not going to even happen. And she just started saying that. I'm like, it was funny. But I'm just telling you that you, when you're 100% devoted to the moment, your whole self is there. And as your whole self is there, uh, everything else uh, becomes way better. When you give yourself 100% to what you're doing, everything else becomes way better. Start doing this for the next seven days. Devote yourself 100% to what you're doing moment to moment and watch how your focus sharpens. Watch how you have the tendency to want to go and go do something else and allow yourself to just sit here and do the thing you need to do. And each time you feel your attention being diverted like that, consciously bring yourself back. And the best way that's going to be to help you to, to consciously do that and be aware of that is meditation, of course. Meditation is going to be able to give you the awareness to be able to do that. And at the same time, allow you to focus more on what's happening now here in front of you. That is my secret key, really, to, to being able to focus more, not only cutting out distractions, but meditation every single day. And if you're a beginner, I would say start meditation with just focusing on your breath and sitting down, focusing on your breath for 10 minutes a day. You don't want to go straight to 30. Start with 10 minutes a day. And as you're standing there, and, or I mean, as you're sitting there and you're doing meditation, just focus on your breath. Notice the, notice the distraction of your thoughts. Just notice it. You don't have to engage in it. The moment you engage in it, that's when you've went with the distraction. But just allow it to do that. You don't have to be perfect. Sometimes you'll engage in thought, but consciously and dil diligently be there. And just allow it to pass. Allow the thought to be there. Maybe you engage in it for a second and a half, then it stops. You come back to the moment. Just keep doing that. 
for 10 minutes straight and then you'll notice that your focus begins to sharpen. I hope you guys took so much away from this video. Understand that I'm um, leaving in one month. I'll be gone and I'll be in Australia and I have Melbourne workshops coming up. So I hope to see you guys soon. I love ya. And Tony Solo says subscribe below because he is out.